Hi guys! So it's been a hot minute since I made a video, which I apologize, but I kind of don't at the same time, if that makes any sense. I've been crazy busy um, with work, we're refinancing the house, it's just been, yeah, and then there was Easter, so spending time with family, so yeah, sorry I haven't had a video up, but today I wanted to talk about my body care, basically, you know, bath stuff, lotions, all that. Just, I know spring's right around the corner. Are we in spring yet? Spring, summer. Anyways, nice moisturized skin. You wear less clothes normally. I know I do. I'm wearing a dress right now because it's like, what, 85 today? So yeah, kind of wanted to share with you guys and let me know what your favorites, body care, you know, lotions, body wash that you use. I would love to try new things, like always, you know, we're... We're friends here. We like to share things, right? <laughs> Whoa, my hair, a hot mess. Excuse it. Um, been working out a lot and unfortunately your hair kind of in the process it gets all nasty and crummy and dry shampoo is like your best friend. So, whoo, getting off topic. So, first thing I want to talk about is dry brushing. So, I got this, I want to say at Ulta. And dry brushing, basically, for dry skin, it helps with circulation of the blood. And you basically want to go in long strokes. So, you know, on your arm, you want to stroke up. On your legs, you go from your ankle all the way up. So long strokes, and you want to go over the skin about three times. So right before I get in the shower, or start the shower, I do this in the shower, in the tub, whatever, standing. Um, I will do this before, you know, you wet your body. So it's basically dry brushing and it's like the texture is not too rough and it's a great way to exfoliate your skin and like I said get that blood flow going so first start off doing this and I'll do this usually like every other day and then next when I you know start the shower as far as shaving wise I don't shave that often if that's a bad thing I don't know I shave my underarms and I shave my legs no joke probably like once a month just because my leg hair doesn't grow that much. I used to shave my arms, but I kind of stopped. Don't know why, but um, I guess as I get older, I'm not as hairy. <laughs> Does that happen to anyone else? I don't know. Um, but for shaving, I use the Venus Gillette, the three blades. And so far, these have always been really good to me. I think three blades is perfect. I don't know how people feel about like the three, four, five blades. I think these work really well. Um, I got this little holder because I don't have it to where it like hangs on my shower. I have it in this little plastic thing and it was like in a set and it's really good for travel too. So I like that. And my favorite shaving cream is this Eos one. It's the Lavender Jasmine. Oh my God. Like if I could have a lotion, a candle, a body spray, a hairspray, a shampoo, a body wash with this scent. Yes. I, I love it. It's really nice. The texture the, the, the texture is really good for shaving. And I literally only need about two pumps per leg. Um yeah, no I don't get any razor burns. Um it's very soft and moisturizing. Love this stuff. Love, love the scent. I've had the pink one before too, but I would say this lavender jasmine, ooh, smells so good. And for my body wash, I love like a moisturizing body wash. And this, and I love things with pumps too. I don't know. Anything with pumps, whether it's foundation, body wash, lotions, if you can get a pump, that's like, I don't know, just easier. Um, the Nivea Cream Moisture, this I really like it. Again, I've been working out a lot, so having to take more showers. And this not only like makes you smell good, but it also moisturizes at the same time. Because you know, sometimes lotions are, or not lotions, but body washes will just take, you know, scent away or, you know, clean you and not moisturize. I feel like this does both. It cleans you and moisturizes. For like the past like five years, I've always had like these red little bumps on my arm. I don't know if it's genetics or what so what I like to do is use like a harsher 
body wash just on like my arms and I use the CVS clarifying acne body wash and it has salicylic acid um, acne treatment because I think what it, it I looked it up and what it is is basically my skin doesn't exfoliate itself right here so you have to use kind of like an acne treatment to kind of open up the pores a little bit more because the redness is basically the hair is getting trying to get out from underneath so I don't know if that was due to me like shaving when I was younger my arms and like it irritating my skin I don't know but so far this has been working pretty good I, I must admit I don't do it as often so I need to like be a little bit better about using this um, and again I just use it on my arms a tiny little bit about a pea size and then we can't forget about our little lady bits <laughs> and I use a summer ease and this is the delicate blossom cleansing wash for sensitive skin and you know, I don't know if most girls or men use their same, you know, body wash as they do for their, you know, private areas. But for me, I'd rather use something specific for that area and this is specifically for that area. So right after I get out, I pat my skin down and I don't fully um, dry off. I like to use this Neutrogena body oil. So it's a little damp throughout my body and then I will just put a little bit on my hand and rub it all over. And then as my body is drying, it's using this oil to basically moisturize and the smell, um, it says it's fragrance free, but I think it has like a light scent. I don't, I don't even know how to describe the scent, but I like it. It's not greasy and it moisturizes my skin really well and like I feel all silky and smooth. Love it. So after, you know, the oil sets in, I'll usually, like, you know, brush my teeth, let it soak in a little bit more, and then I'll go in with my lotions. And I've been using this, the same area where I get red, I use this lotion, and it's the Amlicton, Amlicton? And it's the Alpha Hydrox Therapy Moisturizing Body Lotion. And this thing is a pretty penny. I mean, I got it at CVS, I want to say it was like, 15 16 dollars I don't know it was super expensive and everywhere I looked online it was about the same price so definitely a lot more expensive I feel like it does help with the redness and I just need to get a little bit better at doing it I don't know if I'm going to be doing it every day but even every other day like sometimes I haven't even been doing it for like a week or two and that's really bad because I think that area just needs to be moisturized really well so I really like it doesn't really have a scent I'm not big Really, I know I said I like that scent of the shaving cream, but I'm not big on body lotion scents because I like to scent with my perfume, if that makes sense, because sometimes scents can clash and not smell very good. So yeah, most of my lotions and stuff are unscented. So haven't used this too much, but I want to get better at it because I feel like it did work when I was being really good about <laughs> doing it often. For the rest of my body, I've been trying out a new lotion, and it's the Intense Repair by, I always watch these names, Urisen? Yeah, I'm going to totally watch that. And when I use a lotion, I don't want to get like the lightest one, I want the richest one. I'm If I'm going to put lotion on my body, I want it to moisturize, and this stuff is amazing. I haven't put it on today yet, but it literally makes my skin glow. And I don't know about you, but I'm all about that glow. Let's see. Oh, and my chest is like super red. We just got back from going to the pool. And sorry, it's a little red, even though I use sunblock. But I don't know if you could tell from before, but just putting that on my decollete area, it seems like even shinier. I don't know. And I love that. Again, this is fragrance free and also I'm able to put my clothes on right away. That is like the worst thing when you're not able to put your jeans on right after you put lotion on. Because let's face it, we don't have like two hours to wait for our lotions and oils to dry before we put clothes on. And this is really great about that. So I just wanted to get the small size because this was also a pretty penny, I want to say. I don't remember the exact price, but this was pretty expensive. So I was like, okay, let me try this size first buying the full size and now that I think about it the full size was actually sold out so that's kind of a good thing too 
you know, when something's like flying off the shelves, usually it's a good product. So I really like it and I will probably be picking up the full size bottle of this. And to continue on with like the neck and decollete area, I just recently started using like neck creams and I want to pick up the Tarte Maracuja one after I run out of the sample. Right now this is the Stervectin, Strivectin, and it's the tightening neck cream. So, you know, I'm 30, I just want to prevent any wrinkles and sagging as soon as possible. So I think it's really important to do a really good neck cream. And this stuff is thick. I mean, it's thick. It's not going anywhere. I think if you wanted to use like your face moisturizer, if you have really, you know, heavy, thick cream, you could probably use that too. Because I don't know if the tightening... I don't know. Again, I just want to keep it moisturized, not get wrinkles. I have a little bit of sun damage for back in the day when I was a teenager. Tanning beds. Ugh. What was I thinking? So yeah, you know, I want to just prevent any further damage to that area. And you're going to probably think I'm weird. I think I'm weird for <laughs> having this. But I actually got this deodorant for Ryan. And he didn't really care for it because it's not an antiperspirant, it's just a deodorant. And I'm trying to be really, you know, try to stay away from things that aren't good for you. And a lot of antiperspirants have like aluminum in it. It's really just not a good ingredient to have on your body. So, you know, he tried this like twice and I was like, okay, this wasn't cheap. I got this at Sephora and this is Anthony Logistic for men. And it's alcohol-free deodorant, all skin types, fragrance-free. Um, objective, it says, to not smell bad. <laughs> Strategy, herbal and botanical extracts, deodorized, Caladura Calms, Calendula Calms, yeah. So, um, it smells, not, it's spearmint, yes, I was trying to think of like the word, but yeah, it's like this gel, so it's a men's deodorant, but hey, it works. It literally, like like it says, no fragrance. So I put it on. I don't smell anything. And so an antiperspirant will basically prevent you from sweating. So deodorant prevents you from smelling bad. And I literally have no odor. And I go to the gym, sweat for an hour, um, nothing. You know, I work an eight-hour day, nothing. So I love this stuff. And hey, if it's for men, I think women can use it too. So... You know, I'll probably buy it again. It's like the craziest thing. I mean, you know, tomato, tomato, men, women, hey, what is it, the Nivea Shea Balm that people are using for primer? Why not men's deodorant? I don't know. It works. And as long as I don't smell bad, I'm happy, <laughs> you know? So yeah, that's basically, you know, my, my body care, um, you know, I just... I really want to prevent any further damage so if I could just keep my body moisturized, my skin moisturized and using healthy products, I'm happy with it. So if you guys, you know, use any of these, let me know or if you have any suggestions, I would love to try new things. Again, I'm not, I'm always intrigued by what other people use too and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you soon. Bye!